Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be going over some of the new changes in our recent recode of Punishment GUI. This released a few days ago and it already has 152 downloads, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you all for the support of this version. We worked really, really hard on this and I can't wait to explain more in the future on what we're planning with it. So anyway, um, some new stuff that comes with this update is it's a full recode. So if you want to install this, you'll have to uninstall the previous version and completely reconfigure the plugin. It has a brand new configure file where you can configure your unlimited items and menus which is our number one suggestion so thank you to everybody who requested that uh, I'm very happy to finally bring it to you we also provide a pre-made config for um, the um, light bands we have not made one for advanced bands but I'm gonna just explain real quick how you can get that set up uh, we'll have a new cross server video released very soon on the channel for you to go ahead and review anyway let's just get straight into it so some of the configure files you get is you get the commands.yml the language.yml and the settings.yml we'll go over the commands.yml quickly it's very easy it literally just lists the commands in the plugins and uh, you can go ahead and set a custom permission if you want all that good stuff is available in that file Thank you to everybody who requested uh, the ability to go ahead and customize those to your liking. Those are all available now. You got the language um, .yml, which is literally lets you change the language in the plugin. It all supports placeholder API, so all these in here, and there may be more in the future, support placeholder API, so thank you for that. And then in the settings.yml is the main file. So in the settings.yml, I'm going to go over everything you can do, everything that how you add a new item, how you add a new menu, all that good stuff. So the first thing we're going to talk about is at the top. It's going to be the command that actually opens the main GUI. So when you run slash punish, this is what it actually is doing. It's going to open the menu main dash menu. And you can see right here, it is the name equals main dot menu. So it actually opened this default main menu. If you want to create a new menu, what you have to do is you have to copy where it says main menu here. You're going to actually copy that um, selection. So let's say you wanted to create a new menu. The best way to do it is to copy just the first main menu and the first item, scroll all the way down, or if it's easier for you to see, all you have to do is go all the way up and then just press enter here. And then right here, just make sure this is lined up correctly. So go ahead and format it correctly there. And then change this main menu to like main second dash menu or whatever. And then change the name to main dash second menu or whatever, whatever you want it to do. And then go ahead and uh, change this to whatever server name, server name, MC punishment GUI or whatever, and you can go ahead and com complete the second one. Now, let's say you want to go ahead and open the second menu within the main menu. Well, all you have to do is under action, you do open menu with the brackets, open menu, and then the second menu name. So it would be menu second name or whatever you want to do it, and it will open that second menu. Uh, the configure file is not my server. It is, um, I was helping someone configure it, so I went ahead and uh, that's why it says a server name here. Um, but you can set this to whatever you want. So pretty much with the items, you can set it to any material you want, any name you want, any durability. The durability is the data value of the item. So if you want it to be blue stained glass filling the thing, uh, the fill data would be whatever you want the color data to be with the item. Same with these. Durability is the data value. Slot is where it is. Should it send a message to the player when you click on it? What should it run as a command? So if you want it to ban someone, you can do warn target or ban someone like that. Action is only used to open the other menus. Lore is whatever you want. Unlimited lore lines per item and unlimited items. So let's say you just wanted to add a new item. All you have to do, copy, paste that entire item setup into a new thing, change the slot, and you're good to go. All right, so let's talk about literally how you get in and whatever you can use in game. So in game, you have a few different commands you can use. There's two commands built into the plugin by default. There is slash punish and then a username. You can do offline users as well and it will open the default punishment GUI. In the default GUI, feel free to do whatever you want with the default items and everything, or you can go into the configure file and change what you want. If you want live changing when you like change something in the configure file, come back and see what it looks like. Like I can do punish reload all as one word and it will say punishment GUI has been reloaded. And that is a easy command which allows you to reload the plugin whenever you wish to reload it so that is really really useful for any servers who want like live changes in game or you want to make a change and not have to restart the server that is the way to do it so very very easy plugin to drag and drop and install all you want to do to change the commands is inside of the settings.yml file to whatever you want copy and paste literally to make the config to whatever you want and you can have unlimited menus and open multiple GUIs if you want uh, very soon on our patreon page we will be releasing some exclusive configure files for our supporters
So if you are interested in that, please become a supporter. Link will be down in the description below if you are interested. It really helps us out on everything. Um, if you have any questions with the plugin, join our Discord support server. Link is also in the description. And if you want to download it, the plugin link is at the top of the description. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nils, and I'll see you tomorrow.